happy Friday to you, and it's finally here! The start of summer, the start of the grilling season, the start of the swimming season, the start of the white shoe fashion season, and the start of the Indianapolis 500. It's a time to get out of the house and enjoy the next three days. You're free to do this, of course, because of the people that we honor on Memorial Day. So please take time out this weekend to remember them. That being said, let's proceed to the funny. Sue and Noel Radford live in the UK and they don't have any hobbies because they don't have any time. What they have is 19 children with another one on the way. You know, I remember watching an old episode of You Bet Your Life starring Groucho Marx, and he was interviewing a contestant who had 10 children, and he asked the man, he said, why do you have so many kids? And the man replied, well, I love my wife, to which Groucho then replied with a classic line, I love my cigar too, but I take it out once in a while. <laughs> Sue and Noel claim that the baby that they're expecting will be their last because they've run out of names. Their other children are named Chris, Sophie, Chloe, Jack, Daniel, ooh, Jack Daniels, Luke, Millie, Katie, Ellie, James, Amy, Josh, Max, Tilly, Oscar, Casper, Hallie, and Phoebe. But they can't come up with a name for the baby that's coming. Fortunately, I've got an answer for them. Since this is your last baby, Call it quits. <laughs> 17 years ago, a black man in South Africa lost his penis during a botched circumcision. Botched? Yeah, I'll say it was botched. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, circumcision only involves the tip of the wiener, so how did the whole thing come off? Anyhow, the good news is, is that after 17 years, a donor penis was found and attached to the man that the doctors, in an operation rather, the doctors called a total success. The only problem with it is that the donated dingus is white. Now the man wants to get it tattooed to match the rest of his body. How loudly can you say the word, ow? If I were him, I'm not, but if I were him, I would leave my manhood white because he could win untold bar bets with it. While we fight in this country about a Canadian oil pipeline, the Germans, the Germans are taking pipeline engineering to a whole new level. The German state of Schleswig-Holstein, they're preparing for the Wacken Open Air Music Festival. Great name for it. It's a huge music festival featuring big names, Alice Cooper, Marilyn Manson. It draws hundreds of thousands of fans, and these fans want beer. So rather than truck in thousands of barrels of beer, the festival constructed a four-mile pipeline, brings beer directly from the brewery to the festival site. Genius. And I think we should copy this idea. You know, if the environmentalists don't want Canadian oil shipped through the existing pipeline, let's ship Canadian beer and then just hold concerts all along the pipeline route. It's a winning solution for everybody. And people wonder why I'm not president. Hey, that's it for another week, my friends. Have a wonderful Memorial Day. Please take time out to remember those who gave everything so that we could have everything. And I will see you back here next Friday.